My name is Anna Harper, and I'm from Wasegamak, Manitoba, and that's the Island Lake area. There's many airports, but we have to use choppers. The challenges we face right now is the choppers, the helicopters can't land at night, and if the the weather is bad, they can't land. <sighs> Sorry, <laughs> it's it's uh, it's have it happened about 25 years now since my mom's been gone. Sorry, I'm just kind of like, I still feel like it was yesterday. My mom was very, she was a very, um, how would I say, she's very, uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. She was very caring. She was a very beautiful woman and she used to help people a lot. She was working at the nursing station actually and she was counseling counseling um, the people who had problems. She was going to to um, St. Tree's Airport by chopper, by helicopter. She was going to Red Sucker to go support the people in Red Sucker because she was going to a, a funeral. And then 10, 10 minutes later, I was um, still sitting there, I mean, still standing there. I was answering phones and I, I heard on the TV, like we have a local TV, and then they said um, the chopper went down. And I didn't, I didn't know what to think. We stopped and I started running. And I, um, I was running, I didn't get to go to the, to the crash, I ran and then I seen some people coming towards me. And then they, I said, who's in that chopper? Who's there? And I went to the nursing station and they drove me to the nursing and there were so many people. There were so many people at the nursing station already. And everybody like just made room for me. And my dad was sitting there. And my dad said, um, you don't have a mom anymore. And that's what he told me. Um, there's my mom, Bernadette Harper, Flora Harper, and the pilot. So I'm, um, I haven't really got over it yet, but I'm learning how to live with it. And um, I remember when they had the investigation, the investigation came up three days after or four days after to come and see the crash, like the helicopter. And I remember there were gov government people there and they told me, we'll get you a, a, an airport soon. And that's what they told me. And that was 25 years ago. For me, well, I think I'm talking for everybody. I think the government should say it should do what they they say they're gonna do, not empty promises. Right now, it's empty promises what they're doing. Mm -hmm.